Hey guys, another guide video today. This time we're going to be looking at Harrow. Uh, it's going to be in the context of six Hydra's captures in one night again, so for more experienced players. I'm just going to run through the build here and then we'll go into the hunt as before. Same as the vault. Uh, so in this build we're going corrosive projection again for the armor reduction. Uh, and then the build's going to focus on durability, so I've just put on vitality and redirection. We want some strength here. You don't need too much. 185 should do it. Um, range doesn't matter as our fourth ability, which is what we're going to be using, does not scale on range. It scales on affinity radius. Um, a bit of efficiency as well, just so you're not using too many energy pads. And your duration, you want to focus on it being anywhere between 90 and 95%. That's usually the a good limit for that. Um, and then Arcanes, I'm just running Guardian and Energize, personal preference as always. Uh, you can run Nullifiers if you want, I prefer these just for durability and energy. Uh, handspring here, interchangeable with Coaction Drift, like with the Vault. Uh, you can take that off if you want, although Handspring is very handy on Harrow, as if you get knocked down. As an energy spike is about to happen, you can get straight back up and cast your fourth in time. Uh, we're running Rubico as our primary. Um, we're not going to be using it. We shouldn't be using it at all, really. Um, same build as the Vault. If you really want to see it, you can go back and look at that video. Um, secondary and melee, we're not running any. Uh, personal preference, you can run a secondary if you want. I don't. Um, and for melee, we're not going to run it just so it's easier to get off Arcwing and we don't waste any Void Strike stacks getting off of Arcwing. Focus, we're running Madurai. This is for Void Strike. Um, in the last video, I got a question as well um, about Meteoric Dash. This is also very handy in this as it uh, provides a DOT behind you. It leaves a trail of fire. This is useful for taking out Vomvalists. Um, it also helps to proc your um, Virtuous Shadow as well, I believe. Um, so you want that one as well. Um, and obviously, I've got everything unbound here. Uh, I go through this in more detail in the Vault video as well, so if you want to look at that, go for it. Um, finally, we've got our Sahasa here again with Dig on, just so we can get more energy orbs during the fight. And we don't have to use as many energy pads. And then on our Arcwing, we're running just durability and efficiency range. Strength doesn't matter, I've just got it on there because it fits the polarity. Uh, and speed Hyperion thrusters. So that's up over that. We're going to be using Blink a lot, so that's why we need that. And then our operator. Running a standard X27. Uh, you can run an X77 if you really want to. Um, I prefer X27, but you can run whatever you want. Uh, and personal preference again for the operator arcanes. Magus Elevator and Magus Virgo just for the durability. Uh, and Virtuous Shadow on my amp for the crit chance, which guarantees a critical hit. And that'll be for the fastest shield takedowns possible. So make sure you've got that equipped, that's very important. Uh, but other than that, I think we'll just get straight in to the hunt and I'll explain what's going on. Alright, so we are waiting in the planes here, the sirens are going off. And so our responsibilities as Harrow. We're going to be using our fourth ability every time the Eidolon goes into an energy spike. This will prevent any mag procs hitting the warframes, causing them to lose all their energy. It will also prevent any damage that those energy spikes will do to the warframe, so no one will go down during that phase. Um, we're also going to be providing the Chroma with a 200% crit chance buff on headshot for the final kill. Uh, it's very important as it increases, or sorry, decreases the time uh, of your runs <laughs> as the Chroma will one-shot the head most times. I got like 10 so we're going to start here, Are you actually gonna max waiting them? for the Eidolon to spawn. The Chroma is going to go and max. fast charge, and he's going to oh, tell oh, us when yeah. he gets and the uh, Vonvalists. We are then going to fly to the Terrorist, and we're going to wait. On first run, Harrow will be the third person to shoot, so Trin first, then Vault, and then after the Vault, Harrow. However, on this run, our Vault is running the incorrect build. Uh, he has Unairu on, rather than Madurai, so I'm going to be shooting second here. 
Don't shoot. But me. usually Harrow would shoot okay, third. I'll take, I'll take two, and then, or I'll take three. So he's gone down. We're going to wait. Just before he spikes, we're going to hit our fourth. Right. That's going to make us invulnerable and everyone else. I have the wrong build. So. And we're going to stay like this now until the Trinity says. Too much duration or too little? For me to no, shoot. No, I, I went. It's my solo build, so I have. Or duo. As you can see, uh, our fourth really. lasts for about five and a half seconds, which is oh, just enough time. To stay alive throughout that energy spike, and also enough time for All it to four, come I'm off like cooldown, so we can uh, use it again uh, immediately for the next energy spike. So my fire. Uh, yeah. What the hell? Why can't I? So right here, we're using like? ground dash to proc our virtuous shadow. Okay, something is really weird. In order to do this, you just stand right below his head. Aim at the ground and void dash into it. This should proc Virtuous Shadow, which will almost guarantee a crit on your next shot. Maybe I just have no mods on the roof. So what the hell? I, it took and we're like now just going to keep charging. Ready for Gantalist. I wouldn't bother all f 4 I think it would be better to actually just go out and quickly equipment change. Because otherwise, yeah, yeah, when I come mean, back uh, in, we're yeah. going to have to... Uh, yeah, yeah not all F4. I'm going to abort. Yeah. Yeah, well, you don't need to abort. Don't abort, just go out. Just like end, end Cetus. Go into oh, operate. Okay. And the terrorist has a downtime of 45 seconds here, so just as he's standing up, we're going to cast our fourth again and get underneath him. For this build, the magic number is 1,500. As long as we get above that, we get the max buff. As you can see there, I got about 2,600. Easy one shot for the chroma. And then we're going to come over to the shrine and wait. Sure Make sure you grab the shards in operator mode, that way you can place them into the shrine in operator mode, provided you don't go back into your frame in between. Now we're gonna dash over, the vault forgot to put up a shield here, but no worries, we had to fire two shots. Once again we're gonna try and proc with our ground dash and then cast our fourth. Go under and grab our wisp. And use your VS. You shoot up through the leg to hit as many hit points as possible. Cast our fourth, become invulnerable. Back into operator. Grab wisp. And repeat the process. Maybe replace that one. Uh, with Harrow, you want to be trying to do ground dashing to proc Virtual Shadow as much as possible. This is because it saves you a lot of time. <clears throat> and there'll be le way less hassle when, uh, if you're like trying to do head dashing, uh, you'll sometimes miss your fourth. You won't be able to get back down in time to cast it. It's much more efficient to do ground dashing on Harrow. We're just going to keep repeating this. Got one more shot left. After this, we're going to tell the Trinity to take back over since our vault on this run is running um, Unairu rather than Maduro. So we'll just play it out here. 45 seconds again for the downtime. So we just wait for him to start standing up and then we're going to cast our fourth again. So he's just getting up here. We're going to cast our fourth. Gives that chroma uh, the headshot buff. As you can see, we fell a bit short on that one. Uh, still a reasonable amount of damage there, so... Not too much of an issue. And then we're going to dash over to the shrine. Make sure to stay in operator, remember. I'll put mine in there. 
So now, we're going to go up to the shrine. We're going to place last. And that's because I'm in an NA host here again. As you can probably see, my ping's quite high. Shoot just a bit up to get the headshot bonus. And then head back. And now it's a, another repeat process. We'll prop our headshot. The, where's the fucking our virtuous shadow. shadow. By avoid uh, ground dashing, sorry. And then it's grab our wisp. Come really underneath. Shoot up through the limb. Ground dash. Four. And grab our wisp. I have somehow it, yeah. my Rubica is fucked up for some reason now. <clears throat> really make sure you're checking your energy levels as well. If you don't have enough to uh, cast it, be aware of that. Otherwise, you'll end up missing it. It's important to know as well with Harrow, if you do miss it, your fourth ability, don't panic and cast it halfway through the energy spike. Because that'll only make your next one late as well. If you miss one, you miss one. So just, yeah. Don't bother casting your fourth if you miss it. There we go, 45 second downtime again. And then as he's standing back up, we're going to use our fourth, give the chroma that buff. We're all going to shoot on this. Uh, it doesn't harm anyone to do so, so we're all going to shoot at the head just to make sure it's an instant kill. And then we'll head over to the gate, where we're going to park our frame just in front of the gate. And go into our operator. This will hold the gate open so that when we grab the arcane, we can dash straight through the gate without having to wait for it to open. So, cast our fourth. We've got over 1500 instantly there, so no need to worry. And then we'll have a shot in which we land. As I said before, we're just going to park our frame in the gate here. Come out with operator. We're going to grab the arcane only and get out switch. as quickly as possible, just to save as much time as possible. And since we're not the host, we don't need to go into Cetus to relaunch the mission. So we're going to stay right up against the gate here. But now we're going to switch over to another run. Uh, this is a normal run now, so no pre-charging. The Chrome has seen the Vonvalists, so we can go. So we're going to head straight over to the Terralis. And start trying to proc our virtual shadow by dashing above the head. This is explained a lot more in the vault video, so if you want to go and check that out, that has some good tips on how to play VS roles. Uh, the Chroma here is a bit late, so I'm just going to help him pop the limb. And now we're going to proc our virtual shadow and hit four. You killed the limb there? I think it's fair to say Harrow doesn't require much thought, really. Very repetitive. One thing I didn't explain earlier as well, um, it's quite important to have natural talent in your build um, for the casting speed. This will give you more time to proc your virtuous shadow. There are ways to cancel the animation, obviously. Um, but yeah, I think it's easier just to run something like Natural Talent, Speed Drift. Get your casting speed up, that way you don't have to worry about it. You can proc Virtuous Shadow. Most times you usually have enough time to proc it. 45 second downtime here on the Terrorist, so... We're going to wait that out, and then as he's standing back up, we use our fourth ability. VS rolls are very much the same, the only different abilities. 
where you shoot, how you proc Virtuous Shadow, the Wisps. So we're just going to cast our fourth hit. See if we can get it above 1500. We did. So max buff. I'm just going to revive my pet here so that I don't lose any loyalty. And fail the Arcwing. Head back to the shrine. And we're going to go into operator mode. Collect our arcane and shards. And as I said, I'm on an NA host, so ping's not great. I'm going to play, be placing last. Now I'm going to aim up in the air just above. Ground dash to proc. And then use our fourth. And we're going to repeat that. So once again, crown dash, fourth, and then we'll go and collect our wisp. Ground dash, fourth, wisp. Don't worry if your uh, virtuous shadow only has two one or two seconds left as long as you fire the shot before the buff ends that shot will have the crit buff applied and since the shield goes down instantly you don't really need to worry about having it for more than a second so as long as you can proc it you should be fine and as you can see here we have exactly the right amount of stacks for killing the limbs here so we can overcharge a bit The way overcharging works is if you have, for example, uh, one stack at times 10 and you go to continue to charge until you fire your next shot, you'll still see the number 10 in your top right hand corner as the number of stacks you have. And your last shot will fire at times 10 even though you've been charging for more. But any extra charge that you would have done, so if you sit in void mode, say for 10 seconds before firing your last shot, that amount, the amount of uh, void strike that you would have built up over that time will be carried on to your next 8 stacks. So that's how that works. You can get up to about 4 times if you know how to do it. Just missed our 1500 cap there, but still a decent buff. And then we're going to head over to the shrine, staying in operator mode. That way we can put our shards in in operator mode. Kubla almost got six on Chroma. Alright, hold it. Yeah, we got short knife though. But we would have had it with the heralds. It's under 725 like every. Got a wisp there, fire three shots maximum. You don't want to fire any more than three. Otherwise you won't have enough for the rest of the limbs. Use our fourth. Grab ourselves a wisp, come back under. I think Rev is Hopefully you get the idea by now. Like we did. We did it eight times. <laughs> the timing for shooting the shields as well. Um, you'll see, I'll explain it in a minute. When the Hydra just stands back up. He takes two steps. I've done it twice now with Rev and I One, three times two, you, and, and then shoot. Like the vault over on so about half half a second to a second after he takes that second step he's, up. He's pretty salty about that, but you want to be shooting then, just a bit before the shield comes up. As you can see there, I don't have enough energy to use fourth. I mean, I don't know. If I kill Very close to missing it. It's because one of the lures is out of range or something. I, I usually blame that on myself. <laughs> and yeah. After, I don't know. Just a simple repeat process it's over and over. Trend's fault, but it's partly not Trend's fault. Wait, didn't Exo have that lure? Exo had yeah. that lure. But I mean, still, you should be watching where the lures are when you shoot the fucking thing. I guess with the bow, you should One more limb now. If you're in a hurry to kill it, it's going to take forever anyway. 
As you can see, I got knocked away. Um, but my teammate still got the buff since uh, it doesn't scale with range. Scales with affinity radius, which is 50 meters by default. And there we go. He's down. So that's it. It's very repetitive with Harrow. Probably the most boring role. Um, the next video I'm going to be putting out is going to be for Chroma. Uh, I probably won't be able to get the whole of chroma done in one video because there's a lot to talk about so i'll split up a few things but i'll do a basic guide for for chroma six by three uh next um but yeah this is it for harrow i uh, hope you found it informative if you did leave a like uh, if you have any questions about the video leave them in the comments i'll try and answer them as quickly as possible uh but other than that guys yeah i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching